What's up guys and welcome back to another G35 video. Before this video starts, I wanna thank you guys for 1200 subscribers. It's absolutely insane how we hit that so quick. Literally last week I was thanking you guys for a thousand subscribers and now we're at 1200. So thank you to every single one of you that are subscribed. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Turn on post notifications to be alerted to be the very first one to know when I upload. Little side note, should we have a name to us? I don't know if that's a normal thing. I don't know if like car YouTubers do that. If we should have a name, comment down below what the name should be I don't know it's just poking fun at that but let me know in the comments below so in today's video we're gonna be installing a 75 millimeter kit that I picked up now the best part about this kit is that it's almost a hundred dollars less than the cheapest kit available online so what the kit does it essentially replaces your OEM 70 millimeter throttle body and it replaces it with a 75 millimeter throttle body from a newer Nissan Maxima you're getting a bigger throttle body and what the kit includes is an adapter so you can bolt on the big your throttle body into your existing manifold and then also comes with a harness because it is a different connector type so you can plug it in ready to go you don't need a tune but it is recommended and that's essentially what the kit is and what it does now you also do want to pair it up with a three inch intake just so you can maximize the gains and that's when you want to get a tune you can't run the three inch intake without getting a tune so I'm gonna be holding off on that but I will be installing the 75 millimeter throttle body today and I'll be showing you guys how to do it pick this up from concept Z for a hundred bucks it was a really good deal and they had it on sale so I picked it up this is a Hitachi model which if you guys know they are the OEM manufacturer for the throttle bodies from Nissan Infinity so here is the adapter piece that helps both the throttle body and the intake together this is from Simplistic Garage and they have an eBay store the kit is a really good price and it's made really well they actually use a machine and they machine it perfectly so you don't have to worry about any difference in quality from part to part now it also comes with hardware it comes with a gasket that goes in between the adapter and the intake plenum and you're also going to have and this is a really big deal you're gonna have the harness adapter so you can plug this throttle body into the existing connector on your G35 or 350Z so when you pair these two from Concept Z and then from Simplistic Garage you literally save almost hundred dollars from the cheapest kit that they sell online I'm gonna be showing all the prices right now on screen so you can see here this is the price for Concept Z and you can see here this is the price for Z1 motorsports and then you can see the price for the NWP throttle body and I mean looking at the adapter there's like no rough edges it's literally machined and it looks really good and it also does have an o-ring and that's pretty cool because you really get a good seal on the throttle body to the adapter and you don't have to worry about any vacuum leaks you may get I will leave a link in the description down below if you guys want to pick one up I'm not making any money off of this trust me I just believe that this is a better alternative and if you guys want to try it out go ahead and do so in the link below I'm gonna go ahead and take off the two clamps so that way we can go ahead and take off the throttle bottom. So now with the intake removed, you're able to access the four bolts that are on the throttle body and all you need to remove them is a hex bit size five and that is all. One thing to note is if you do buy from Concept Z, it is gonna have these coolant ports. You might need to cut them off. I do have a cutoff wheel in case I need to. If you don't have one, just keep that in mind that it might be necessary to cut these off because it might hit the intake plenum. This fits really well. This comes with a gasket that goes in between this one and it also has an O-ring. So once you bolt up the throttle body, you are done and just connect everything else and you're good to go. So guys, like I had said earlier, the coolant ports are actually in the way of installing this throttle body onto the adapter so you will need to cut these coolant ports so it shouldn't be that big of a deal to cut them off so let me go ahead and do so installed the adapter ended up torquing that and also installed the throttle body and that is torqued as well now the torque specs on the throttle body and the adapter is uh, 75 inch pounds which is around like six ish foot pounds so you want to snug them up you don't want to make them tight you just want them snug also went ahead and connected the harness so the harness is connected to the existing connector so I ended up doing the throttle reset right now which is going on and off real quick on ignition it basically resets it so we're good to go now I'm gonna go ahead and put the intake back on and we should be good to go. So 
So obviously you guys are going to have a lot of questions. So leave them down below in the comments. I'll make sure to try to answer as many as I can. But now we're going to go to the driving portion. I want to give you guys my first impressions on the kit. So let's go ahead and go into the car. All right, guys. So we're in the car right now. And I'm going to go ahead and take it on a little drive. Warm up the car and then we're gonna get into some runs. So the outer looks fine. Don't have to worry about that. I don't have to worry about any vacuum leaks. It feels a lot more free flowing. I feel like the car is working less, but you're still getting to the same speed. So second gear, 3000 RPMs. thoughts on the 75 mil throttle body it does make a difference obviously if you're going full bolt-on it will make even a bigger difference but just with the throttle body alone right now I can tell you guys that I do feel a difference why <laughs> so there you guys have it that is the install and those are my thoughts so like I said it did work and I did feel a difference on the G35 so it's not a huge difference but you can definitely feel it from mid to high RPMs so if you guys did enjoy this video give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're new around here we have plenty of G35 content that you can go ahead and view right now turn on post notifications to be the first one alerted when I upload and I'll see you guys in the next video peace